What do you expect we're going to see out of Kelvin Benjamin? Now, obviously, they made the trade two days before the Jets game, and they yeah. made the right call, uh, even though we were in New York and yeah. both disappointed that he wasn't going to play. But they made the right call in that situation because, you know, he had no practice time with the Bills, and he hadn't had a bye. Yeah. Carolina had played eight straight weeks, and the Bills' bye is already gone, so he wasn't going to get a week off. So I understood why they did it, but it, it, it was a kind of a bummer that he wasn't thrown in there. Hey, maybe he could have helped that night. I don't know. But what do you expect to see from Kelvin Benjamin this week? Do, do we, are we going to get a full boat of him, or what do you think they're going to do? Well, I think if he would have played last week, it would have been limited, 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 right. right? But this guy has been playing, and, I, and he's a wide receiver who's been around the NFL. We're not talking about a rookie here. So I think they can give him a, a more than just a regular package of plays. I mean, I think he can play, again, the whole playbook, no, but they don't need that from him. I think he can be effective. Everybody assumes in the red zone, which I think he can. But let's look at other circumstances. You know, what is, when, you, when you're the Bills and you're sitting there third and six, what are you thinking when it's third and six? Yep. I'm thinking they're in trouble on <laughs> third know, and six. Right. Again, so um, he is a guy who can get those plays for you. You can throw it up. Will Tyrod do that? Uh, my next, my next Will point Will Tyrod throw it up to a guy? There's a difference between Tyrod throwing late to a guy who's covered right. because Tyrod threw it late and Tyrod looking and going, he's covered, but I trust him to go up and get the ball. And that's got to be communicated to Tyrod too. Like, we're going to take some chances there. Like, it has been drilled into the guy. And, and let's give him that, right? If you're going to play the way Tyrod plays, it is important to not turn the ball over. Right. But there are times you got to take some chances. It's, it's going to be, I mean, Tyrod addressed this a little bit on Wednesday. The question was asked, you know, this guy, Kelvin Benjamin, has had a reputation of being able to go up and win the 50-50 balls. Those are the ones where he's not covered, but he's so physical. He's yeah. 6'5", 240 pounds. He is generally going to be bigger than anybody he's covering. He's not often on a linebacker. Right. So most DBs aren't his size. You know, in the past, Cam Newton, who is a risk taker, obviously, he would throw it up and let Kelvin Benjamin make a play on the ball. If it got picked off, so be it. They play defense and get the ball back. The Bills have to, you're right, they have to drill it into Tyrod. Look, we don't want you to turn it over, but you're going to have to get this guy involved and let him make a play for you. Yeah. That'll be key. If, if Tyrod doesn't do this, the Kelvin Benjamin acquisition is not going to look quite right. as good because he is not a guy who's going to run deep and beat people long, or he's not a great guy getting separation. We've right. read this about the scouting report. He's not going to go beat guys and be wide open. He's going to be covered, but he'll win the battles.